And welcome back, everybody. You're not welcome. No, last time we um lost St. Petersburg. Oh, you lost your capital? Oh, they took St. Petersburg. I think, think that was my capital. Hmm. Uh, actually, no. Moscow's my capital. It says new capital of Russia. So it moved my capital. What did we set these NPCs on? Mm -hmm. Did we even change their setting? Now they're coming for Moscow. And they have captured my settler. Gosh darn it. Oh no. I was discovered civil engineering. There was a major flood. Some nice stuff was destroyed. Yeah, yeah, my empire's heading towards bankruptcy because everything's been stolen. Alright, so I have to choose some policies. I'll choose that mm. one. So I give it like three turns before Why is that? Before I'm out of cities. Oh. Like well, that'd be a shame. Well, he just moved a lot of his units away from my city. So he's captured two of my um Maybe citizens. he just sees you not as a threat anymore and therefore is walking away. That is an insult. I can't really help if it is an insult. It's the truth. Like, I can't even build musket men before he captures a city. But he didn't attack Moscow. And he settled another city right up on mine. Does it... Is it bad that I'm also trading with him? Yes! <laughs> Gosh darn, you're sitting here helping him. You're giving him resources. You're probably like giving him gunpowder and iron and shit. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'd be stupid to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm giving him. Uh, I'm giving him luxuries. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, his people don't like him very much. I think next time I'll try a Venice playthrough, since Russia's not nearly as powerful in this one. Russia wasn't powerful in the last one. In late game, he got pretty powerful. Charlie, the ability to get extra uranium is not powerful. No, Nukes not just suck. uranium. Not just uranium, extra anything military. Horses, iron, go coal. Up, no, no. It wasn't only uranium. Oh! A mega colossal volcano erupted. How strange. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, Surprisingly, they're not burning down my cities. You notice that Byzantine is winning in everything except for diplomatic. Yeah, that's where I win. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just the waiting on you. Yeah, that bitch Basil probably rushed uh, military uh, formations and everything. Probably. Hold off on those for now. So I made peace with him. He was supposed to give me back St. Petersburg, and I don't think he did. But it set us up the deal. So I don't know how that's going to work. Interesting. Actually, I'm really for hoping. For some odd reason, I now can see the entire map of Germany. Good. Despite the fact I am not at war with anyone. I don't think it gave me St. Petersburg. I guess I'll know this turn, though. I know the game's thinking about something. I'm so far away from uh, from getting out of the Dark Age. Oh, no, hold on. Above 78 to avoid Dark Age in 80 to, sorry, um, 89 to get a Golden Age, which I'm never going to get. It did not give me St. Petersburg. Hmm. Just stole St. Petersburg from me. 
ってやるそうはあキャッシュワールドコングレスレッツビギンヴォーティング Yes, please. Hmm. What districts do you enjoy the use of, Charlie? I currently don't really have any. I'm starting an industrial district. Okay, then. Industrial district it is. Sure. Actually, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh. Okay, wait, wait. Here's what we should do. I will upvote that you get an increased output in industrial zones in such a way that you are guaranteed to win. I just put uh, 264 uh, political capital into ensuring that. Okay, so I want you to vote up uh, that trading with me will be beneficial. Okay. With you? Yes. What are you going mm, I was about to say, what are you going to do for me? But I know exactly what you did for me. Yeah, I said I was going to make it where your industrial zones are more likely to、uh, work better. And it's also because I happen to have some industrial zones. So it's a win win. Um, it's not letting me hit next. Oh, there's more than just two. Oh, there is? Yes, there's four things to vote for now. Oh, diplomatic victory. Me? <laughs> Let me actually, uh,. Let's see what all you voted for. There we go. So, who won? Ah! Yay! So I get better trading.、Uh, Roosevelt got the victory point. Oh, really? Damn. Why would he get it? Oh, well, World's Fair is going on now. He, he had 71 votes. Oh, but it did give me two diplomatic victory points for that. <laughs> Suzerain status lost. Ugh. Oh well. I'm at seven points too now. I actually need you to change what you're building to be that. I need you to stop building that as well. And I need you to build an industrial zone. Right there looks like a great place. Just close enough, I can start dumping all of my, um, all my、uh, pollutions into water. Normally. Charlie, industrial zones aren't places for you to dump pollution. I know. I didn't even build that one near water. I did build one of them near water. To where that's gonna be my story. I'm, I'm dumping all of it in the water. Woo, I am in a normal age. Oh man, come on. Guess I'm going this route. Much as I don't want to. 
Alright, so, because I'm not in a dark age, can't have a dark age policy no more. I must have better policies. Is there one for a... Uh, do I even have my religion anymore, or is it just dead? Oh, what? I get a great scientists. Good for you. Hmm. Now, where do I take her? Hmm. I'll drop that there. Sure. Not exactly money, but it might boost me a little bit ahead. Though I doubt it, because everyone else is so far ahead. Let's see. You you just fortify. Like let's see, he's got gosh darn it. He's at forty eight. Why did we choose the Byzantine Empire to be in this game? I think it's because we wanted some randos. I don't know if he was a random or not. Did we? I think we chose everyone manually. Yeah, we did. I said we wanted some randos, and we picked some random people. Okay. You obviously didn't suspect that the Byzantines would whip your ass. I also didn't suspect that my whole religion is now just dead. Well, that's to be expected. Hmm. Like, there's little bits of my religion around, but it's not enough it's ever going to win. Come on, I need that settler to be formed. Might settle here and then travel across the water to the other continent. I think we just have a huge ocean out here. I hope that volcanic eruption burns whoever it was at. Eh. It's between two borders. One of them I want to burn immensely, and the other one I don't care. It's between Germany and... Uh, and Byzantine. Yeah. I'm yep. aware. That reminds me. I'm not even going to participate in the World Fair, by the way. Holy crap. What are you doing in the World Fair? You, like, need to really step up your game. Me? Yeah. Have I'm you not doing anything. Have you, are you working on a World Fair? Nope. Oh, okay. So nope, I'll say just Byzant trying to fix some shit. So I'll say Byzantine's gonna really get that. I mean, not if next turn I get to work on it. I mean, he is in dead last on Diplomatic, though. I mean, seriously, like, next turn I really could just set everything to the World's Fair. As a matter of fact, um... Let me see. Hmm. 
Well, how do you do the World's Fair? You go to a city, you choose production, I think. And it should be at the very bottom, right? No, it's not, yep. huh? Um, that's a good question. Oh, generate great people points per turn. Oh, I could do that easily. I should have chose one of my one of my people policies. I could literally generate a great person in every two turns. I got rid of those policies simply because I have nothing nowhere to put them. Okay, busy team. Why do you have a tank outside of one of my borders? already don't like you here. So, how's your turn coming? Um, trying to decide what to do. Well, there we go. Just build something. Oh, wow. Um. What? I just went to check the CO2 levels, and America and Germany are the only ones producing, but America has produced a bunch, at least 86%. Mm. And when I look at resources, it's mostly from oil. Well... They do have a massive army parked upon my border. Hey, maybe they're going to invade you soon. I doubt it. I know, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I seriously doubt it. Simply because, uh... <laughs> I'm trading with them. <laughs> I mean, I was trading with Byzantine. And they stopped. I always, I've always traded with your civilizations. Yeah, but that's because I don't go by. Yeah, it, it does. That's not the same. I know. But whenever I hostilely invade you, it's it's not for any normal reason. It's just because I can. Nine turns to get to where I need it to be. Still just a wait. There we go. You building an army or something? Well, no, more moving an army, but also becoming suzerain of two different city states at once. Ah. Uh, that's always fun. I'm just trying to move away from the, from the Byzantine Empire.
why you want open borders, but sure. That's extra money incoming or something I can't do. And I have been now denounced by Byzantine again. Hmm. World Congress is about to meet. I always like it when World Congress meets. So I am just about out of money. They have a large army. Who? America. I mean, America and Germany and Byzantine are absolutely humongous. Visiting dwarfs them, I'm pretty sure. Why should Aid we help request. them? request. Hmm. Do I want to? Vote up. It'll give you a damn um, victory bonus thing, a uh, diplomatic victory thing. I don't know, we were even voting on a religious emergency. Hmm. Nope. Hmm, I can't build one of those, okay. Wait, no, 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 actually, no. Hold on. So, didn't we just start an age 